Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove zero sum consecutive nodes from linked list. So we are given the head of a linked list. We repeatedly delete consecutive sequences of nodes that sum to zero until there are no such sequences inside the head of the linked list given to us. And the task is to return the head of the final linked list after performing the above operation until no such sequences are present and there might be multiple final answers you can return any one of them so let's take the first example given to us so here as you can see we calculate the sum so keep track of the sum so we need to keep track of sum of every node here one and when you add two to that it will become three and here it is zero so three minus three will give you zero so this is one such sequence which you can remove because the entire sum of the nodes is equal to zero so if you remove this, the final answer is going to be 3 and 1. So this is the final answer 3 and 1. And it is also noticed that 1 to 1 can also be a final answer. So sum is 1, here sum is 3, the sum is 0 and again it is 3. And here you might observe that here the sum was 3 and here the sum is also 3. So 3 plus something is equal to 3. So what is this? This should be 0. So it means whenever you find a prefix sum which you already encountered, it means there is a sequence which sums up to zero. So here you can see that you can remove this part of and the final answer you get is one, two, one, which is also the expected output. And here too, if you see these two nodes can be removed and the final answer is one, two, four. And here, if you remove these two, it is one, two, minus two. And if you remove this and this, the final output is one, which is expected here. So let's see what observations we make. So in all these approaches, you have to calculate the prefix sum. So in the first example, you saw that we calculate the prefix sum. So here 0 is repeating, right? You start with the prefix sum 0, right, initially. So let me declare a variable prefix sum, which is initially 0. So head of the linked list is here. So here the prefix sum is 0 and you encountered 0 again. So it means you have to remove this part. So we keep track of the prefix sum and at which node, which prefix sum value is there. So we keep track using a hash map. So let me create a hash map. So the hash map is going to contain key and value pairs. The key is going to be the prefix sum and the value is going to be the list node of where that prefix sum is occurring. So initially we start with prefix sum zero, but here there is no node. So we create a dummy node. So initially to start off, I create a dummy node, which has a value zero and I connect it to the head of the linked list. And this is the dummy node and dummy node next points to head, which we connected here. And now we calculate the prefix sum. Prefix sum is initially zero. So here, the prefix sum is zero. So add it and set its value and the list node is a dummy, which is also zero. Now we move head until head reaches null. So it means until we reach the end. So initially head is here. So add its value to the prefix sum. So prefix sum is one and check if it is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So add it and set its node value. Node value is one. Now head will move forward. Now add this head's value. Head's value is two into the prefix sum. So value is three. So till here value is three. Check if three is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So add it and add its node. It has been added. Now move further. Now head is here. What its value? Its value is minus three. You get zero. Check if this zero is present inside the map. Yes, zero is already present inside the map. And where is it present? It is present at the zeroth node, which is this. So here you can see zero is already occurred. So it means whatever values are there, so those values should be removed. So here, as you can see, these values should be removed because the sum of those nodes is equal to zero. So how do you remove that? So you have to change this pointer, right? So what is this? Dummy dot next. So instead of changing this pointer, so this pointer is dummy dot next. So instead of disturbing this node, we create another node, which will point to this prefix some values node. So it will point to this. I will create a variable start. And now start dot next pointer will move to head dot next pointer. So head is here and head dot next is this. These connections have been removed, but those are still present inside the map. So we also have to remove those. So I create another variable called sum, which is equal to the prefix sum. Prefix sum is zero. So I create another variable called current. So current will also point to where start is pointing. And this current variable will keep on moving until it reaches head. So we use this current variable to remove these from the map. So here, what all we have to remove? We have to remove this node and we have to remove this node. And this because they these sums are already present inside the map. One and three are present and head is not present inside the map. So minus three is not present inside the map yet. So there is no need to remove. 
So we take this current pointer and it will iterate until it reaches head. Until it reaches head means it has to remove this, it has to remove this. And how will you identify which has to be removed? We identify using these prefix sum. So we use the sum variable. Now current will move forward. Now add the value. So 1 will be added and the sum is now equal to 1. Check if this 1 is present inside the map. Yes, it is present as prefix sum. So remove it from the map. So we'll remove this also. And now current will move forward again and add that value into the map. So 2 is now 3. So check if this 3 is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So remove that from the map. And now current will move forward. And now current is equal to head. So we end the iteration because this node is not already added into the map. So no need to remove it from the map. So we place a check if current is not equal to head only then we remove. So here current is not equal to head, here current is not equal to head. So we remove them. And now head is here. Now we are back to calculating the prefix sum. Add the value 3. So prefix sum is 3. Check if this 3 is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So add it and add its node where it's occurring. So 3 is occurring at 3. Now move head further. Check if 1 is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So add it. So add this value into prefix sum. Prefix sum is now 4. Check if 4 is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So add it and add its node. Now move head further. And now head reach the end and we end the iteration. And what will be written? We'll return dummy.next. So dummy.next is this node. So this will be returned as the output. So dummy is here. Dummy.next is this. So from here, we'll return as the output. So 3 comma 1 is the expected output here. Now let's implement the same steps in a Java program and do a dry run for example 2. So let's take example 2. We are given the head. So let me draw the head of the linked list. So we are given the head of the linked list. Now we are starting by creating a map. So let me create a map and we create a dummy node because we calculate the prefix sum, right? And prefix sum is initially zero. So where is that zero? It is a dummy node. So I create a dummy node and we create a value zero inside it. And we connect dummy.next to head. So connect dummy.next to head. So this is dummy. So finally here we return dummy.next as the output. So wherever dummy.next is pointing that will be returned as the output. So this will act as the zeroth node of the linked list. Now we need to add zero and it's occurring a dummy, right? So this is the prefix sum. So key is the prefix sum and the value is the list node. So we start with prefix sum equal to zero, right? So we add zero into the uh, map and where is the zero occurring? It is occurring a dummy. So we add dummy node here, which is zero. Dummy node has value zero. Now we iterate until this head reaches null. So until we reach the end, we keep on iterating the while loop. Now in every iteration, first we calculate prefix sum by adding the value where head is pointing. Head is pointing at one, so add it into the prefix sum. And now prefix sum is one. Now we check if this one is present inside the map. No, it is not present. So add prefix sum and the value at head. So this is going to be the list node, right? So what is prefix sum? It is one and list node is one. I'm only adding the first element of the list node, but this will actually represent the entire no head of the linked list inside the value. Since this if statement is executed, this will be ignored. And outside the if statement, before starting the next iteration, we are moving the head to head dot next. So head, which was initially here, head will move forward. Now again, repeat the same steps. In the second iteration, we add the value at head. Head has two, so add two and the prefix sum is equal to 3. Now we check again if 3 is present inside the map. No, 3 is not present inside the map. So add it and add its node. So 2 is the node. Since this was executed, this will be skipped and head is equal to head dot next. So move head forward. And now again add prefix sum value. What is the value? It is 3. So add 3. So now the prefix sum is 6. Check if 6 is present inside the map. No, 6 is not present. So add it and set its node which is 3. Since this was executed, this will be skipped and before starting the next iteration, head will move forward. Now repeat the same process. Add the value at prefix sum. Prefix sum is minus 3. Add the value at head. Value at head is minus 3. So we add minus 3 to it and the value becomes 3. Check if 3 is present inside the map. Yes, 3 is present inside the map here. And where is that value occurring? So we encountered 3 already at, at the node having value 2. So here we already encountered the value. So let me write the values here. So here prefix sum is 0, here it is 1, here it is 3, here it is 6, here it is 3 again. So this is already occurring here. So it means, so this block will be executed. And what we are doing, we are creating a start node. So this will be the start node. 
it is pointing at prefix sum prefix sum is 3 so get the node so this value will now have 2 so start is now pointing at 2 now create a current node at start again because start and now this node start dot next will point to head dot next so start dot next will point to head dot next so this connection is removed so before doing that here we need to move right so i create another node current so current is also pointing here and now i keep track of the variable sum i create another variable sum which is equal to the prefix sum prefix sum is 3 so that i use this sum variable to check what all values have to remove from the map so until this current is not equal to head because i have to remove this value from the map so i keep track of the variable sum this is done and i don't have to remove head this value from the map so until current is equal to head so until this current value is equal to head i keep moving forward and remove them from the map so first move current forward so current will move forward calculate the value at sum yes 3 will be added and 6 check if the 6 is present inside the map yes it is present so remove it from the map so current is not equal to head so we can remove it so remove this value from the map and now again current will move forward but here current is equal to head so this won't be executed so because this is not present inside the map there is no need to remove and now when you finish this while loop you come out and the control comes here so start dot next start is here is equal to head dot next so start dot next is equal to head dot next head is here so these nodes have been removed so this connection has been removed here and this value has been removed from the map so that if we encountered again this can be calculated and now in the next iteration head will move forward calculate the prefix sum add 4 to the prefix sum the value 7 check if 7 is present inside the map 7 is not present so this will be executed so add 7 and add its node it's at 4 and head will move forward again and once head is equal to null this while loop will end and we come out and whatever is present at dummy.next will be returned so dummy.next is this so we return this and what is the node it is equal to 1 is pointing to 2 2 is pointing to 4 and 4 is pointing to null so this will be returned as the output 1 2 4 which is expected here so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the number of nodes inside the linked list and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a map to compute the output that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video